Fibrin glue to close retinal breaks successfully in complex retinal detachments with silicon oil in situ. We have no financial disclosure relevant to this presentation. Off-label use of fibrin glue in the management of complex retinal detachment is discussed. Fibrin glue has been used in systemic surgery for hemostasis, tissue sealing and suture support. It has also been used in corneal surgery for perforations and leaks, for scleral fixation of IOLs and for closing sclerotomies that leak. It has also been described for retinal detachments by Dr. Mudit Tyagi and Sayan Basu for simple detachments where it was used to close retinal breaks to obviate the need for oil and gas tamponade. However, it has not been reported for complex retinal detachments with retention of silicon oil after it has been injected. Our first case was a proliferative diabetic retinopathy with combined tractional rigmatogenous RD who underwent surgery in July 2022. The surgery was not successful and there was an open break. So she underwent re-surgery in September of the same year. After additional membrane peeling, fibrin glue was used to close the open break and this led to a rapid retinal reattachment with no adverse effects at the 8-month follow-up. Visual acuity was good, intraocular pressure was normal, there was no inflammation, there was no oil emulsification and the glue was no longer visualized. Encouraged by this, we have used it subsequently. This is another patient with PDR combined RD that required extensive membrane peeling and segmentation. There was pre-retinal hemorrhage and an iatrogenic retinal break. Attempts to remove the hemorrhage were unsuccessful. So the two breaks could not be lasered adequately. One iatrogenic break and the other is a pre-existing break. These were then closed by injection of fibrin glue over each of the two breaks sequentially. The fibrin glue has two components, thrombin and fibrinogen, and these were injected one after the other over each break. By the fifth post-operative week, the retina was attached and the glue was no longer seen. This is another patient with PDR combined RD and the two breaks not adequately treated with laser due to edema and hemorrhage were then closed by injecting the two components of the fibrin glue sequentially over the two breaks. This was another patient with PDR combined RD and here the causative break was very close to the macular center. After mild laser, fibrin glue was injected over this break and silicon oil was administered. On the first post-op day, the break was covered with glue and by the sixth post-operative day, the hole was closed, the retina was attached and the glue was no longer seen. This was a patient with high myopia who came with a failed RD. The macular hole was the only obvious break seen during this surgery. So after ILM peeling, fibrin glue was injected over the macular hole for additional security. And by the fifth post-operative day, the macular hole was closed, the retina was attached and the glue was no longer seen. This was similarly another macular hole retinal detachment where fibrin glue was injected over the macular hole and very, very early in the post-operative period, the hole was closed, retina was attached and the glue was no longer visualized and there have been no adverse effects in the six weeks of follow-up. In conclusion, fibrin glue can be a useful adjunct in the management of complex retinal detachments when laser for retinal breaks is not possible due to bleed, edema or proximity of the break to macular center or macular hole itself. Glue is not seen as early as 1 to 4 weeks after the surgery and there are no adverse effects with silicon oil in C2. No inflammation, IOP rise or oil emulsification was seen in the 10 months of follow-up. Need for post-operative positioning is also significantly reduced. Thank you for your attention.